What is up, everybody? We're switching up a little bit today in the video department. Um, haven't done a little, haven't really been off farm for a video in a little bit, so that's where we're headed to today. But don't worry, we're gonna sell some farm content, of course, of course, of course. I leave for college in 11 days, which is super exciting. I'm really excited about it, um, but I thought, well, I'm home and everything, we could get a couple more quality videos in, you know. So I am headed off someplace that is pretty cool and it's a little bit of a haul. I've got like a 40 minute drive, but I think it'll be worth it. So I'm going to explain a little bit more once we get there, but come along for the ride. I am ultra tired today. I don't know why. Um, we, I kind of like was grinding at the hay detail and, but I finished all of my duties for that. They are finishing chopping today. And then the 9330 broke down, the hose wrapped around, same deal that happened last time, if you guys remember that. So they're kind of struggling, um, but we have another blade. So they're putting that on a different tractor right now. So we should be done shopping and everything. We merged all, almost all of it last night. And yeah, so not really needed right now because we have enough truck drivers and enough and someone's in the chopper. So like I said, I was really tired. I'm, I don't really know why, but I made the strongest coffee you can make. It's cold brew, but then I added, I did add like some stuff to it because I can't drink straight coffee like that. So I added some stuff, but we're ready to roll. I'm not really a coffee drinker, but I'm trying to lay off the energy drinks, if you guys feel my vibes on that. Someone was driving my truck because it is way back. I knew something felt weird. Anyways, I'm gonna start my journey now. First, I'm gonna go pick up JoJo's sweet corn sign because she just started selling sweet corn off of our little stand that we have and the sign fell down. This is like the second time it's happened today so maybe she needs to just work on that detail. I don't really know what that is about. Whoa, kind of bumpy. Good thing I brought my stabilizer because... Well, um, by the way, a little update on the bakery. Yeah, pretty much destroyed. <laughs> and I have videos coming on that as well, but. These are our hats, as you guys know, um, for all of you guys that have ordered, I appreciate. Um, another thing, my dad put this Sasquatch guy in our field. about right good sister thanks what if you guys saw me get like smacked by a car right there <laughs> I'd really try my hardest out here hard to carry all the weight being the um, kindest in the family I find myself at this gas station quite often with this truck. I've been getting around 12 miles per gallon lately, which is pretty mad, but always here.
also do direct pumping. Direct pumping. And what's the difference? We frag tank on fields that you can't direct pump to. They're too far from the pond. What's the difference though? Direct pumping is we will have the pump right at the pond, and the direct tanking is where you pump out of the tank with the chuck salt. Got it. So the things are up there, right? Yeah. Those are the, we'll get up there in a minute. Windows kind of dirty. Didn't plan for company <laughs> Uh, about a year and a half, but I've been drag lining for about six years, six or seven years. Wow, a seasoned, seasoned pro. How many gallons do you pump a year? Uh, last year we pumped a little under 400 million gallons between New York and Colorado. So and you also go to Colorado? Yep. Yeah, crew's headed out there in a week or so. Okay. Do a 100 million gallon job for a few days. So we just finished their cutting.
difference between crack taping and crack pumping? So many <laughs> Well, you're limited on the um, flow balance per minute that you can uh, pump with the frack tank because it's only so big. We use uh, all Diller tankers that uh, hold like 7,500 gallons. The frack tank holds about 15. So two trucks will fill it. And you can only pump it out so fast. It doesn't really look like that big of a tank. Nope. But it is supposed to be the hottest tank. Uh, yeah, we uh, work with all the trucks, get them even in space so that we can all keep moving on pace. We usually do about a truck a mile when we're moving. So we have about nine trucks going right now. And we're able to keep a steady flow. About 2100 right now, whereas direct pumping, you can get as much as you want, depending on home size and everything. What about like. What's the difference when people use sand for bedding and like, you know, because you were talking this about This is um, very sandy manure we're pumping right now. The boat's getting some goodies up. Thick. Yeah. And uh, that's all part of keeping trucks moving and keeping the flow going. Because everything's moving, it's hard for it to settle. So oh. it goes from, goes from the, uh, can settle in the truck some if it's a long haul, but. How do you get it out of the truck? Uh, flush it out with clean air manure. Oh. It comes out over time. We really don't have many problems with that. Some farms use a lot of manure. Some have separators and some use sand. Right. So you also have a boat? Yeah, we have two boats. They do a or wicked job. Boats for that's moms. A, that's, fine. That's, that's video for another time. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> so that... started running 8 inch drags in Colorado, they were playing 
lot of it stays out there. There's four hose carts out there that stay out here. There's like five miles of hose out there. There's a lot of 12, they have four miles of 12 inch. Two and ten or something like that. What kind of, what do you do for ground there? Like is it all corn here in Colorado? No, they do a lot of, um, they do some wheat. They're going to do some training down like wheat. Oh. I don't know what they're going to do this time around. Yeah, it's a fun game to play with the um, setups. Where boosters go. And How long does it take to set up? Oh, that's all Something like this. You know, there's never... Like, what, would, what did this take this time? To set up this? Yeah. It's like, not the hose are the frag tank open and everything. It probably took us two hours this morning to set up an hour and a half. Um, there's never a perfect set in New York, so...
Tyler, what's pig stand for? Huh? What's pig stand for? The fancy term. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta let her drive him more often so we can get her in the right brand. It, she's coming around. I don't know about that.